Let's walk through our new member management panel. So the first thing that we're gonna see here is we're gonna see our search bar. We've got our actions and we've got a number of columns here for name of all of our users, our usernames, emails, registration date, member status, and groups. So this is gonna give us a full look of all members within our community and I can sort. So right now I'm sorting by registration date. I can also, let's say, sort by name and we can flip those. First thing I noticed here that I've got a user in pink. That means we've got a pending user. So I can take this user and I can go and approve them. I also have a nice search here. So show me all pending users. And I'm gonna click our little magnifying glass or hit enter to pull up all pending members. So you can see here, I've got a list of 13 members that have not yet been approved and I can select them all and I can approve them or I can reject them. So we've got a lot of actions underneath this button. Approving members, adding to groups, removing from groups, changing status of the users, private messaging, and more. Let's look for specific users in our innovation team. So I've got a group here, and the group is set up for innovation council. And so let's see who's in our innovation council. We can also say, actually, I'm looking for someone um, that's also in the R&D department. So I'm going to add to that search. And so now I'm going to search for those in the R&D department, also on the Innovation Council. So you can see I've got three users here. So I can select all of these, and then I can message them. So let's send a message to these three users. Let's look at us for a specific user here. So I'm going to look for Lindsay. So just by typing her name, um, that will search the name, the username, and the email of all of your end users. So I'm going to click into Lindsay. And I've got some great information about her. She last accessed this community March 13th. She's a member. Here's her public profile. So we can click through and look at her public profile. But why I'm really here is I want to upgrade her to be a moderator. So I'm going to add as a moderator. I'm going to make her a global moderator. And I'm just going to confirm, yes, I do want to add her as a global moderator. And now Lindsay will have access to all moderation functionality. Let's look up Eric. You've got my um, listing here. And you can see the number of the groups I'm in, um, in the product team, R&D, Silicon Valley team. And then I can click this to call up the list of all groups that I'm a member of. So from here, I can also do things like remove me from, uh, as a member of the leaderboard. Uh, I can ban me. I can revoke my idea sharing privileges. Or I can even send things like a password reset or email verification code. We can also quickly add members. So I can quickly add a member here to join our community. And so you can see we sent that member to our uh, an invitation. And I can also import my members here. So I can drag a drop an Excel file here, or I can uh, browse. And then I can also determine whether I want to send them a verification link. And we can simply import members right from this screen. So that's a quick walkthrough of the member management panel.